Hi everyone, Trax again. It's been a while since I did a Legion farming video, but as I was preparing my live stream, I needed to be able to craft a lot of stuff for tailoring, so I needed a lot of Shellerized Silk. And I usually come to this spot right here, to the Murloc spot, to farm some Silk, Shellerized Silk. But in uh, most cases, I just tend to buy Shellerized Silk because it's fairly cheap on my server. But I was curious on what spot was actually the best as I only came to this spot here in Azuna. It's right here on top of the Nartalas Academy. You, you go here to the bank of this, it's not really a river or a lake, but you get the idea. It's, it's here this side, it's full of murlocs and what is it, the hate coils and they do tend to drop a lot of shellerized silk, especially when you're a tailor, uh, the, the drop rate gets a little bit buffed. And I also currently am equipping the Shoulder Enchant Scavenging, which gives you shellerized silk. Now, honestly, Bloods of Sargeras are better, and you use it for your crafting or to buy the, the most expensive thing from the Bloods vendor. And yeah, it's better just to buy Shellerized Silk or passively farm it while questing or doing world quests. So I have three spots today. The first one is right here. So we're going to start with this one. I'm going to farm this for 20 minutes and then we're going to see what we end up with. So let's go. Alright, so 20 minutes of farming, 124 pieces of shellerized silk. I had, I have received two packs of scavenge cloth, but I'm not going to open that because it's irrelevant to the farming spot itself. And I also received, what is this, six, yeah, six greens. And a bunch of raw gold, 202, cost 17 gold repair, and also some other trash that you can sell for, what is it, around 20 gold. So, on and all, 124 gold, not so bad. It's not bad, gotta say it. It's good. And, uh... Scavenge cloth bags, they give around 25 shellerized silk on average. Most of the time it's it's between 25 and 28 that I receive. So now I'll be going to High Mountain and as soon as I receive, um, <laughs> as soon as I arrive, I will do my explanation. So we're going to fly to Thunder Totem to this little spot right here, the tower you can see on your map. So see you in a second. Alright, so I'm arriving at spot number two, uh, Snowbind 
Snowblind Mesa. Right here, there's a little um, quest spot right here. And you have all these instant respawns as you can see. So let me open up this one again. New session. And let's do something similar. 20 minutes of farming. Here we go. Alright, that's another 20 minutes of farming. In this spot, a little bit less. I saw a few videos about this. I think this is nerfed. Most people came up to... Oh no, they came up to a full stack. Uh, something like, like an hour. So no, this is not a good spot. But I did got... How many of these did I receive? Okay. Ding, 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 ding four greens and also got the recipe drug bar style salmon which doesn't count for today and one artifact power so getting rid of the trash on this spot 181 gold but a lot more trash well not a lot more but double didn't have that much and no other scavenged cloth proc because well you get around two an hour on average so that's where we at so we're coming from here snowblind mesa and we are going to fly towards skyhorn and i tested this spot yesterday when I did a, a, a pre-test to check my settings um, yeah when it's not so far from Snowblind Mesa is right here Sepulcher of the Sky and you see here we have this blue wax grave robbers around the area now you're mostly going to stick from here well I can use my range shadow word pain and pick up these except for the skull captain because it takes a little bit longer to kill him the other ones have right like a 1 million uh, health points so this is the last spot that I'm going to do and we're gonna do it for another 20 mini minutes so 124 by the murlocs then snowblind mesa 89 and let's check which of the three is the best
All right, that's another 20 minutes of farming. Let me go to a safe spot. And this place given me 157 shellerized silk. Last time I even got more and it's dependent how many people are doing the quest in the cave. Because when they kill a few enemies here in the proximity of where I'm farming, because I was mostly here, to this graveyard here and the pathway and a few near the tents and when I didn't get enough respawns or fast respawns, the instant respawns, I went and killed three or four mobs right here. You could reach these as well to bridge this gap but otherwise you're gonna go out of range, mobs will be running away again. So 157 last time I was here I had more than 200. But okay, nonetheless I also had a bunch of greens and some artifact power so in total two scrolls of artifact power and then the recipe that I didn't have and the scavenge cloth and also I picked up 220 gold and some more trash the most trash of all so let me see oh, some nice gold as well okay now just to make it complete, let's see. 28 Shellerai Silk, 28. Like I said, between 25 28 is the most I get from time to time. So, well, in total of these two farm spots... Ooh, short cook order. Alright, in total for the three farm spots, I got over two stacks. I got a bunch of greens that I can disenchant for Arcana. And I'm not going to put it in this spec. Um... And also two scrolls of artifact power. So let's recap. First spot was here. Azuna. Here. The shore side of this well. This lake river thingy near Narthalas Academy. And then to High Mountain. Here a stone blind mesa. Right here with tower. This is actually a bigger area with instant respawns. But well it's kind of an easy place to go. But these mobs hit harder. Then the murlocs and also these little candle blue wax grave robbers. They don't hit that hard. This is easiest to start farming where you don't have uh, much uh, higher item level, so you don't have as lot uh, have a lot of uh, stamina. Because well, I'm doing this on my priest because it's my tailor to get the tailoring loot buff. And yeah. This is the best part, uh, this best spot out of the tree so far. So if I want to farm Shelderai Silk, this would be my place to go to, as you can see. Well, yeah, I, I put these stacks together. It was 124.89 and the rest 150 plus on this side. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you find it helpful. Um, yeah, and all I can say is happy gold hunting, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.